Hey guys, welcome back to Coco DIYs, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are going over, uh, we are making a balloon garland once again, um, doing a little time lapse, doing a basically traditional balloon garland. Um, it's gonna be around a ring, a ring stand, and um, I'm actually going to repurpose some of my balloons from a previous event. Now I'm just doing a mock setup so I do not suggest if you have clients that you repurpose balloons. That's not something I do. I'm just doing this for the video. Um, that way I don't have to use my balloons that I would use for paying clients. But this is, um, these balloons are going to be repurposed and I'm actually, they're actually already oxidizing it's been a week since these balloons have been blown up and we're actually going to use this product right here i don't know if you can see it's called mega shine um it says some other stuff but um yeah it's in spanish so i don't know what it says but anyway this stuff actually it smells like hairspray which is really awesome <laughs> Um, but, um, this actually shines your balloons. Now I've seen this used, um, in person on, uh, metallic, like chrome balloons, but I ha haven't seen it used on the, um, just standard, uh, latex balloons that I have. So I want to try it on that. And then, um, of course, as always, I will, um, if I find out what store this is from, or if I can find a link to share with you guys, I will obviously put it down below. And I'll also let you guys know what balloons I'm using. Thank you guys for being a part of this journey. And if you're ready to get into the video, then let's get crafty. In this video, we are going to go over, we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna use this later on. It's best to use the high shine, mega shine, whatever kind of shine that you're using. Use it at the end, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use it use it now and I'm also going to compare this to this balloon shine that I got from one of the places I order balloons I don't remember which but I'll link this if you want to use this based off of the video so also apologize for the lighting in this video because um, the lights in my garage of course they went out when I'm going to record so it looks kind of funky but whatever so first thing we're going to do First thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our sets of balloons. Now, um, this is from my last video. I made a, um, it was an LOL theme party, but we're going to add a third color in here. We're not using white like I did in that, uh, in that video. We're actually going to add purple. So I want to cut the... I always use, I always use 260 to tie them together. So if you can see that in the middle, that 260, we're just gonna cut that, separate them, okay? And actually the metallic pink is not as badly oxidized because it is a metallic color. So it still kind of has a shine to it. So I'm, I probably won't spray those, but I wanted to show you guys on the, now this is, this right here, this color, or this balloon, is, has been sprayed with this Mega Shine. I sprayed it about an hour ago. So you can see, just comparing these two balloons together, you can see that this balloon's super shiny, this balloon, ashy, okay, ashy balloon. And that's not what we want. So, we're going to um, now spray this balloon, or, well, actually, let me spray the back end of this so you can see the difference. So the back end of this is still, so you can see this lower half is shiny and this top half hasn't been sprayed yet. And the reason you want to spray at the end after your garland's already gone is because you, are already put together, is because you don't want the spray, you want to control what the spray gets on, so. Just for demo purposes. You see how that shined that up? 
instantly. So I like, I guess, I like the evenness of it. It's, it's an aerosol can, so this actually spreads a little more evenly. Whereas this is more of a spray bottle, like kind of like leave-in conditioner. So when you do this, it still gives it a shine. And it comes with this glove, so you're, what you're supposed to do is spray it a few times, and you see how it's kind of bubbly, and then you're supposed to, you know, so it's like you're rubbing in lotion. Rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it. So I would say that the shine, so this is Mega Shine, this is the spray like spritz shine, and this is the aerosol shine so the shine is the same but it's just the technique used to spread it on with the aerosol you don't have to spread it on with this you have to have a glove or some type of rag to rub it in so it all depends on you I think they both work pretty good but if you already have your garland already up I mean you're gonna use the aerosol because you're not gonna have time to you know get the glove and get every balloon so my recommendation is to use an aerosol shine, but hey, balloon artist for a reason, so you make your own choice. So that is our shine balloon spray comparison. Um, so now I'm going to, I need to blow out purple balloons because that's the only color that I didn't have blown up already um, that I'm repurposing. So I'm gonna blow up some purple balloons and then we're going to add balloons to the ring, and that should be the whole video, I think. I may do tips, I, I, I might not do tips at the end just because this is a tip in itself, so, you know, but we'll see you in the next step. big reveal um, of course your girl had some issues so um, what's new um, so um, I had trouble blowing these up I don't know if it's because um, it's the brand because um, I feel like this shiny brand is different but I realized that I had this issue before possibly with G with uh, GMAR balloons as well so I just wanted to share a tip with you guys so um when you are working with balloons especially like balloons that won't blow up right away like you have them on your machine and they're not instantly blowing up what you want to do is kind of stretch them out I noticed that when I stretch them out or when I hold them on the nozzle and then um especially for double stuff balloons I found this out when you hold it on the nozzle and then kind of pull like this it fills up the balloon I don't know why I figure out the science. Of course, I'm gonna share it with you guys. For my second tip, I wanted to tell you guys that this color scheme, I kind of just made it up. So I wasn't sure, I actually wanted a darker purple. Um, and I really wasn't sure if the um, if the shiny purple was really gonna go with these two colors. But now that I have the Caribbean blue and the metallic pink like revived and refreshed and you know, with that balloon shine, it really, really brings out these colors. So um, just to overview the colors, we have metallic pink, Caribbean blue, and then the purple um, shiny GMAR brand. And um, and I think you can use this for um, mermaid party, maybe even an LOL party if you didn't weren't able to find white. Also, if you... Um, you could also use this for a gymnastics party. Um, I've done a gymnastics party before and I think these colors go really well. If you guys like this color scheme, hit that like button, stay crafty, and the big reveal 
is headed your way in three, two, 